Say hello. What's up? What's up? Oh, hugs. Okay, pug hugs. Give me a pug hug. Give me a pug hug. Oh. <laughs> hello, everyone. Today I am going to be doing my. 2014 favorites. I'm just gonna stick to makeup and beauty and skincare in this video because otherwise I feel like we would be here for the rest of the year. So I realize I'm probably the last person to do this, but it's okay because I'm still doing it. I sounded really Wiltshire then. I found it quite hard to narrow down all my staple favorites of 2014. There were a lot of things that I loved, but maybe not loved enough for it to be in this video. Um, but hopefully you enjoy it and yeah, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna start with skincare because I just feel like that's the first thing we do before makeup. Um, so as you all know, I have been loving the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. I just love this stuff so much. And I'm pretty sure I was using this towards the end of 2013, but maybe even longer, I don't remember. I basically just love this stuff and my skin loves this stuff too. And I find it really easy. You basically apply it to your face when it's dry, all your makeup kind of rubs off and then you use a wet flannel when you go over your entire face. Perfectly balanced cleansing for skin that craves clean. That's actually a really good way to describe it. Like when I use this on my skin, my skin just feels so clean. Um, and that's what you want your skin to feel like when you've taken your makeup off. There's nothing worse than it's still feeling a little bit grubby. So 100% um, this is amazing and I'm sure I'll be loving it way into 2015 and beyond. The next thing I've been loving, I mentioned in my last favourites, which I think was my October favourites, I don't remember. And it is the um, Sunday Riley Good Jeans Treatment. So I use this morning and evening before moisturising my face. Yes, it is pricey and I mentioned that in my October favourites, but I have been probably using this since June or July. Um, and I absolutely love it. Um, I've been raving about this to everybody. Um, I first found it on Feel Unique as I was reading through all the reviews and then my friend Caroline Hirons, who has an amazing skincare blog, which I will leave below if you're having any issues with your skin, her blog will have the answer to it basically. She raved about this also, so then I kind of knew it was good. Um, and yeah, since then, I've just been using this constantly and I really noticed the difference that it makes in my skin. Um, if I don't use this, if I've had a few days off or I've left it somewhere, um, my skin just doesn't look as healthy or glowing and when I use this I can totally notice the difference so I've been loving that. I have also really been loving the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I think I started off the year wanting an eye cream and not really knowing where to get a good one from and this is so rich and thick and also really easily absorbed into the skin because sometimes when you hear those words together and you have to put it under your eyes it's kind of a bit scary um, so this actually sinks into the skin really quickly um, and I just found that my concealer went on a lot nicer and my eyes have just not been so dry. Last year I had an allergic reaction around my eyes. I don't know if any of you remember me talking about it, but it took a good six months for my eyes to get back to normal after that. And I do think that since I've been using this, nothing like that has ever happened. My eyes haven't been dry in the slightest. It's been amazing. I feel like this isn't any different to last year, but concealer and foundation wise, it's the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I love both of these so much. So easy to find, so affordable, and I just, I live for these two things. Sometimes I use them together. This one's slightly thicker. This one is a little bit more brightening. So this one under the eyes is insane. And this one on blemishes is also very good. Um, yeah, nothing new there. I speak about these products all the time and there is a reason for it. They're amazing. I'm pretty sure this isn't new to my 2014 favorites either. I love this every year since I first used it and it's the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I actually need to go out and buy a lighter one of these because the last time I bought this, I think I'd come back off holiday or it was summer or something. Um, so I can't actually currently use this, but I love this foundation so much. I know there are some people that don't love it so much and there are some people that absolutely swear by it. I'm one of the people that swear by it purely because 
I love the um, the way it feels on my skin. I love how easy it is to blend. Like you, you don't find yourself having to try and buff in any brush marks at all. And I love the coverage of it too. And this just works with my skin. I don't know, what can I say? I just, I love it. And I probably have used this the most in 2014 than I have ever used it. Eyes wise, <laughs> um, I've been really loving Urban Decay and Too Faced. Funnily enough, the palette that I've probably used the most this year is the original Naked palette by Urban Decay. This has been out for so long and for a really long time, I didn't give in to the kind of naked hype and, oh, sounds a bit wrong. It's like I've been frolicking about naked now all of a sudden. Um, and I just thought to myself, you know what? I've got so many nude eyeshadows, I don't need them. And then I think this year, or maybe last year, I can't remember, but this year I have most certainly used these a hell of a lot more. One, two, and three, I love them all, but this one is actually my favorite, the original one. Next one is Too Faced Palette, the Natural Eyes. I used this a lot in 2014, and it wasn't, Too Faced isn't actually a brand that I have ever kind of looked twice at in boots or wherever else you might find it. I think they sell it in boots. Some boots, I think they sell it. Um, but this year, I've just loved so many things from Too Faced. I really, really like it. This palette in particular was definitely used a lot. Some really lovely eyeshadow colors in here and you can't really go wrong and they have really cute names. Sticking with mascaras, I just wanna throw in two that I have been really loving in 2014. First one is another Too Faced mascara. I have the full size and the mini size. Um, this is dried up, but I kept it for this video just to show you that they didn't all look tiny. Um, and it is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I don't wear anything else. I've got it on today. It makes my eyelashes look so long, so curly, so voluminous and or voluminous. And I just love it a lot. A lot, a lot. I think it's an amazing mascara. Before I found that, I was using the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Five Star Mascara. This is also amazing. It does all the things that I just mentioned about the other mascara. Um, it's just slightly more pricey, I think, um, but both amazing mascaras, both with brush applicators, because I'm not a huge fan of the plasticky ones, bristle applicators. They all have brushes. Gonna love them mascaras. Another brand I've been loving this year, especially for their brushes, is Zoeva. I love these brushes so much. I just don't even reach for my MAC brushes anymore. They're amazing. Plus they have rose gold on them, so who doesn't love rose gold on their brushes? I just really like them. I like how there is literally a brush for everything. I love how they come in little kits with little bags and I just love how pretty they look on my dressing table. I'm gonna be honest, they just look really pretty. But more importantly, they do the job and they do it really well. Their brushes have been my go-to brush of 2014, so loving those. Moving on to lips. I have been loving Tanya Burr lip gloss. I'm not just saying this because she is my friend. I genuinely love everything about these. I love the taste, I love the formulation, I love how they sit on the lips, I love how long wearing they are. I just don't know anything that compares with these now and if I need a lip gloss, I will 100% grab a Tanya Burr one. Mostly the chic colour, which is a really pretty pinky nude and more recently, I found Nemo, which is a beautiful, um, slightly shimmery coral colour. I just, I love them. Well done, Tarn, literally. Um, I'm very proud of her and her lip glosses be popping. <laughs> lip stick wise, um, I couldn't find my Rimmel 107, but you guys know that I just use that all the time if I need a red, if I need a dark red. So that still is a favourite of 2014. Alongside that, I also um, picked up my uh, Russian Red by MAC lipstick a lot. It's slightly more red rather than like a deep red, um, but I just used this, look at it, it's gone, it looks like a stub now. It's flat too. What does that say about the way I apply my lipstick? 
I'm sure there's like some kind of analogy behind it. I don't know. <laughs> and in terms of berry lips, you guys know how much I love my berry lip towards the end of the year. Um, Glastonbury was definitely one that I reached for a lot by Charlotte Tilbury. I love the consistency of these. I love how long wearing they are. They're really, really beautiful and they're very easy to apply and the packaging is a dream to look at, so uh, I, I was loving that. And another, which isn't necessarily a 2014 favourite because I have had this a while, um, and I think this was in 2013 too, I don't know, um, is a YSL um, Rouge Per Couture, and this is also a very similar dark berry colour, and it's in the number 54. I just use that a lot, a lot, a lot. We're nearly done! Bathwise, alongside Lush, which I love anyway, regardless of what year. Um, nothing really changes in Lush, so things that I've been loving since 2012, I still love today. But this year was different. I brought out my own product range. Um, I wanted it to be around pampering yourself and having that kind of me time, that downtime that you have when you run a bath in the evening and you get your candle out, you get your like favourite scent out, you have a bath bomb, you have bubbles, you have a really nice body lotion and that is kind of what I was going for. And this, this are, this are some of the products. These are some of the products that I have. Oh, ah! Without um, tooting my own horn, I just love them, obviously. <laughs> So my favourite things from it are probably the mist and the fizz bars. I've gone through so many of these, you would not believe. Plus I'm really proud of it, you know? Sticking with scents, the scent that I would probably describe as my 2014 scent is Ghost, I think this is Eclipse. Ghost Eclipse, I'm going to call it that. I think that's what it, it doesn't actually have the name on the bottle, it just says Ghost. There are many reasons why I love this scent and why I think that this is my 2014 scent. The main reason is because I went on two summer holidays, both to Greece actually, one with Alfie's family to Rhodes and the other with my friends Tanya, Jim, Marcus, Naomi and Alfie and we went to Santorini and I decided that 2014 was the year I realised I am absolutely head over heels in love with Greece. I just never want to go on any sunny holiday that isn't Greece, I just love it so much. Um, and this is the scent I wore on both those holidays, so now when I smell this I'm just like, oh it's 2014 in a bottle, it's my summer holidays, I love it so much. So <coughs> don't eat it. So this is my 2014 scent. I really like it and I'm going to be taking it on holiday with me. Wherever I go this year, I've inhaled the perfume. <coughs> <coughs> I don't have many hair favourites because I pretty much just love every shampoo and conditioner that I use on my hair, otherwise I wouldn't use it. Um, so anything you've ever seen me talk about or mention, oh, this has just leaked all over me because I just took it out of my shower. <laughs> um, I, I love. But more recently, which I haven't actually mentioned anywhere else, I was going to do a December favourites and then I didn't, um, and it is Bedhead TG Colour Goddess shampoo and conditioner. I used it for the first time and I instantly fell in love the minute I put it in my hair because, ladies and gentlemen, it smells like... Oh my god. Toffee and fudge and caramel all rolled into one. It smells in incredible. If I didn't know that this was a shampoo and someone blindfolded me and put this on a spoon, I'd eat it. Is that a bit... I mean, yeah, it smells that good. <laughs> I just love it because it makes my hair look amazing and it smells amazing. Last thing I'm going to mention is... I, I did kind of want to throw a candle in here. Although I've said this is my makeup and beauty favourites, I did want to throw a candle in there because I'm candle obsessed and it would be weird for me to do a 2014 favourites without adding a candle. So... My candle that has won the award for the best candle of 2014, which was really hard to narrow down, I'm just gonna add, is the Jo Malone Green Tomato Leaf Candle. This thing is incredible. Oh my God, I actually had to blow it out to come and do this video. It just smells fresh and summery and 
amazing. It's not really a bedroom smell, it's more of like the rest of your house smell. So like your kitchen, your dining room, your living room, anywhere else in your house that you want to smell fresh and amazing. The amount of people that came into my flat this year and were like, what is that smell that you're burning? It literally smells amazing. And it was always this, always. In fact, you can even smell this if you've not got it lit. And I feel like that's a good sign of a good scent in a candle, so yep. That's my top candle. Okay, so those were my favorites of 2014. I think throughout this video I kept saying this year, this year, this year, and I realized it's actually last year. It just feels really weird to say that. Um, 2014 went so quickly, I felt like I blinked and it had gone. Um, but I'm very excited for 2015 and I hope you guys are too. Let me know some of your favourite things through 2014 in the comments below and I'll be sure to go through it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and oh, I know what I was gonna say. I've reached 7 million subscribers. What the actual hell? That's insane to me, literally insane. I hit 1 million and I was like, that is insane. I hit two million, I was like, okay, this is getting a bit silly now. I hit three million, I was like, right, okay, you guys are kind of taking the piss. Four million, five million, six million. I've now got seven million. That's crazy. Thank you all so much for hitting the subscribe button, for commenting on my videos, for liking my videos, for tweeting me, for just being the most amazing viewers ever. I just can't really believe it. I kind of feel like it will stop now. It can't go on, it can't go to eight million crazy literally if i really think about it it does freak me out <laughs> so i'm really sorry if i've gone a bit weird towards the end of this video i i can feel a fully fledged migraine coming on and the light behind my camera is definitely not helping i'm just rambling now i really want to know what videos you guys would like to see from me in 2015 so if you have any suggestions for those then do leave those in the comments below also and and I'm just gonna leave you now to get on with the rest of your Sunday evening or Monday morning or whatever time zone you're in when you watch this and I love you very much and I'll see you very soon bye and welcome to January hmm. itchy schnosh forgotten how this filming thing works Ugh. and I've got an itchy chin to infinity and beyond Something just clicked in my neck. What the hell? All the way down here something just clicked. Okay, well I'm still alive so it can't have been that bad. Manly. Oh, this is the length I want my hair, guys. I want to cut my hair to like this length. It would look like that. Oh, that looks weird. This length. What do you think? I kind of want to cut it. I really like it. I kind of want to get it. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Maybe that's something I'll do in 2015. Actually, have the balls to do something with my hair. <laughs> summy, summy holiday. Mmm. Through 2014, I can't talk.